Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm getting really excited for autumn. I love this season. It's probably my favorite, mostly just because of the fashion. Like I feel like summer's great obviously for the weather, but I always just end up looking like a slob because it's too hot to put something together. I mean, right now I'm sweating in this outfit, but autumn's always fun because you get coats, scarves, accessories. You get to actually think about your outfit in a way that I feel like you don't, well, I don't in summer. Anyway, today I kind of want to do two back-to-back -back videos that will be released like the week after each other. The first one's going to be about the trends for this autumn that I'm not shopping. So I've kind of done my research and put together a list of things that might be quite popular on a couple of different platforms like TikTok or Runways, but I'm not going to be shopping them personally and I'm going to be explaining why for each one. And then next week's video is going to be the trends that I will be shopping. So make sure if you like this video to watch that one later. So for these trends, I kind of did a lot of research on like Vogue Runway, um, like all the like traditional kind of trend watches like online magazines and then also of course i was looking on tiktok i was watching so many videos just scrolling through and then sort of gathering ideas about what people are saying but also i do take a lot of my inspiration from real life like i live in south london and people dress quite cool here people here do not care about what they're wearing in the way that they did in my small kind of hometown and yeah, it's kind of liberated me a bit. I'm kind of overhauling my whole wardrobe right now just because I feel like I've moved here and everyone dresses so cool. I feel like I have nothing to wear when I go out. And yeah, I want to change that. So that'll be an upcoming video of me sort of doing my latest purchases and overhauling my wardrobe sustainably. But for right now, let's get into the trends. I'm not shopping this autumn. So number one, I think I'm gonna start with the runway trends first because you know, the more traditional ones and then you kind of get onto like the juicier ones later that I've seen in real life or on TikTok and stuff. So number one from the runway is massive scarves. And I kind of, there's a part of me that kind of loves this trend. Like these, video, these photos I'm not 100% sure on, but there was this one here, which I just kind of loved for like no real reason, just the whole coat plus scarf drama. It was giving, but I'm not gonna be shopping this trend for myself probably because I just don't think it's practical in the city. Like this one here was probably the tamest option I saw on the runway. And I love it. I love the like clashing of prints here, regardless of the big scarf. But could you imagine that thing trailing through the dirty streets of London? Like it would, you would have to wash it every week or just like quarantine it when you came home. Like I'm kind of a neat freak and that thing's not coming into my house if it's been all through on like nights out or even just like shopping in Oxford Street it would just be a hazard. So <laughs> I just feel like practically it's not the right trend for me. If it was kind of tamed down to street style level, like if you kind of had this, but on like a smaller scale, like not quite as floor grazing, I think I could get behind it. I think it would be cool. And especially like if you manage to do something a bit tamed down of the coat and scarf like duo, like if that is your vibe, I love it. I love it for you. Definitely shop this, but it's just not... I can't see it working for me for the runway. Maybe if I saw it on street style. Honestly, I'm not great at putting ideas together myself, but I love seeing other people and then like taking inspiration from that. It's not necessarily like copying them, but kind of thinking like, oh, I love this particular silhouette. What color, what fabric, what style would it suit me in? Or like for this, this particular trend, I think like, okay, but how can I actually integrate that to my wardrobe? So yeah, if I saw someone that had like a similar style to me, then maybe I could sort of take inspiration from that and maybe I'd try this trend, but for right now, no. Okay, moving on. And this one, it's not new for this season, but it's kind of continuing and it is a massive like kind of pet peeve of mine, which is quiet luxury. I never really liked this trend when it came up from TikTok and stuff and it feels like, what was it? Like the rise of succession, great show, definitely watch it. But also like the Sophia Ritchie like wedding and stuff. Obviously the trend got quite popular from those two things happening at the same time. But it just never really clicked with me. And I feel like it's because it just became like immediately something brands tried to market to us without actually thinking about how they could work with the trend or whether it works for them. Like I was seeing a lot of 
advertisements about quiet luxury from Shein or H&M or Zara and it just doesn't make sense to me like they're cheap clothing they're fast fashion brands how are you selling luxury and how is a polyester suit luxury it's not it's not quiet and it's not luxury so it the whole trend for me was just kind of ruined by brands anyway I just think it's kind of boring I think it's kind of like a a code for like monochromatic kind of white grey beige tan sort of and I, like there was a time when I really liked that for my wardrobe and I was wearing a lot of like tan or linen and stuff and I still do have some pieces to be fair but I'm kind of entering a new phase into my wardrobe where I want as much colour and pattern as possible. I've just ordered this dress, which I maybe I should have shown in the other video of what I'm actually wearing this autumn, but I'm so excited for it to come. Like I love the amount of colour and the really bold pattern, like it's not something I would normally wear, but I want to be wearing that kind of stuff and quite luxury for me just isn't what I want to be wearing anymore. So it's a really personal decision. And I feel like if you're going to be doing it, then there's some ways of making it look really nice. Like these sort of photos here, I do think look nice. I would just say, if the reason you're doing it is to look luxurious, then I don't think you can get that from fast fashion brands or ultra fast fashion brands. And maybe I'll be cancelled for that. And I'm kind of fine with it. I'm kind of willing to die on that hill. <laughs> this next one kind of ties into quiet luxury and it's all great outfits. And Vogue, when I was when I was researching, I realised they're calling it Groutfits. And I just hate everything about it. Any grey, I just find it so horrendous. Like the all grey like housing inspiration that kind of went through for a few years is just my worst nightmare. Like living in a white <laughs> white walls, but like all grey furniture within that. It's just not for me. Um, and I just, I think that carries on to my wardrobe. I really don't think I own more than two pieces of grey stuff and it's all loungewear. However, this photo, I do love the pop of yellow she has in the outfit. So I'd say if you are gonna, if it is for you, if you like grey and you want to try all grey outfits, then I would definitely consider adding like an unexpected pop of colour. I know, again, spoiler for next episode, but this yellow is going to be everywhere this season. So like the gray and the yellow are quite a classic com color combination. And I would consider adding it if you are gonna go all gray, because otherwise I, I just don't, th I think you need to break it up. It's, it's too much. Even if I like the trend, I'd be styling it somewhat like this. Biker boots, they're just not for me. And there's no real, there's no other real explanation to be honest. Um, I've just bought myself a pair of cowboy boots, um, which I love, which I love, but I wore them on the tube the other day and it was so hot. I thought I was gonna like pass out. Um, but yeah, so I, I shouldn't really be wearing them in summer. I've kind of bought them for autumn, but I can, couldn't resist. But yeah, biker boots, I'm, I'm just not a fan. I don't think they suit my style. And I think that's actually a really important like message to take away, if you're, like, if you're gonna take away one thing from this video is that not every trend is gonna suit you and you need to be able to say, I like this clothing, I like this trend, but it's not for me. Like you can appreciate something without thinking, oh, I have to have that or I have to try it out and I have to buy into it. So yeah, that's what I'd say for this biker boot thing. I'm just not, I, I appreciate it. I think the outfits look great. Like there's some stunning examples I'll pop on here, but I just don't have anything that would go with it in my wardrobe and I just don't think it suits my style personally. Peplum tops is the next one and I kind of have mixed feelings about this. Immediately when I saw these were back, I had 2010 flashbacks to this like old hand-me-down top from my sister who's like two years older than me. Um, she's probably watching, so hi. <laughs> um, but she gave me this second-hand top and it was like this really stretchy material, but it had gotten stretched from, I think she'd owned it and someone else had owned it before her. So it was like a twice hand-me-down. So it was waist is really loose. So it didn't quite give that snatch look that Peplum's quite good for. And I just, me like, I just thought about this top and I was just like, no, like this trend cannot come back. But I have since seen one 
one inspiration photo from like scouring for loads I found one that I thought oh yeah I could if if I found something like this and I bought the matching skirt I think I could buy into this trend but that's kind of it and then you have to think like would you to be able to buy one top and one skirt and be able to only wear them probably wear the skirt with something else but I don't like the idea of wearing the top with anything else so it's kind of unsustainable to just buy something for one outfit. I feel like like kind of encapsulating a lot of these trends is like the 2000s era. There's gonna be a lot of times where I say, I just don't like this and I don't really have a meaning. It's just kind of the feeling I get from 2000s is, I don't know, you just cringe at your younger self, don't you? And like your parents dressing you and stuff. We've kind of moved into like more TikTok street style, um, like actual inspiration now. We've kind of moved away from the runway if you didn't get that. Um, but the next one is long denim skirts with kind of biker boots or like heavy boots. So like, I think you could wear cowboy boots here and that would be fine. Um, but yeah, I personally did not buy into the long denim skirt hype. One thing I probably would say is it's great to kind of trust your initial instinct when it comes to looking at a trend. Like if you immediately kind of think, I'm impartial to this or I don't like it. I would trust that over, you know, buying something later down in the season when you've been so heavily influenced by scrolling through and seeing this trend so much on social media that your brain's kind of conditioned to think like, oh, okay, well, everyone's wearing this. So maybe it's not so bad, but you shouldn't, we shouldn't be influenced like that. And to be fair, I do think there are kind of caveats to this rule as well. Like for instance, my cowboy boots, immediately I kind of didn't like the trend and I think it was because obviously cowboy boots at the time they weren't really like high fashion they were still western style when they came through a couple of seasons ago and immediately I was kind of like no I'm not a country girl I live in I live in London so it's just not working for me but then and also my kind of reaction was I don't know how I would wear these at all but like they've been around for a couple of seasons so I've seen them on Instagram, but I've also seen them in real life. Like I went into the shop the other day and I was so influenced by this woman's style. It was so simple as well. She kind of had like black cowboy boots, denim jorts and like a black vest. And I just kind of turned and said to my boyfriend, like, I need that look. <laughs> so then I went out and I bought black cowboy boots. That feels like the Mean Girls reference. It's hard, I guess. I guess it is kind of like trusting yourself and knowing like, am I actually being influenced or have I just changed my mind on something and do I think it will work better now, now that I've had time to consider and I've had time to actually see how it would work out better. That's what happened with me with cowboy boots. So I don't think it's gonna happen with me with a long denim skirt. I can't see it happening, but it might. And I might like come back to this video next year and be like okay well I actually want to wear this trend this trend this trend and that's fine like as Lainey Ozark says in her video that I was watching this morning like you need to be able to look back on your outfits and be like what was I wearing but also I feel like the opposite is true like if you're not looking back on your outfits and going what was I wearing you aren't having fun. There was one way I kind of liked the long denim skirt boots situation which was this inspiration photo here but again it was kind of like the peplum top where I only found one inspiration photo out of like hundreds so that kind of says to me like maybe I don't like the style maybe I like something else about this image so maybe I'll be studying that and I might recreate this look but with a like slip skirt like a, like a satiny slip skirt I've just got a black one so maybe we'll see how that goes instead maybe it's the denim and denim I like that the denim sandwich she's got so maybe I need to like recreate that and I could do a different style skirt or like just different style bottoms entirely like I feel like jorts could look really cute with that um maybe I'm kind of like making a mental note to try that and I will maybe put it on my Instagram if I like it so follow me on there. Oh I've got to say this inspiration photo was really nice also and I have just thrifted a top that's like this that should be coming soon um so but again I feel like I could recreate it quite easily with jorts like it's it's kind of like more the colours of the photo I like than necessarily the denim skirt 
but if you are going to be partaking in this trend i think these two inspiration photos are really nice next is ugg boots again <laughs> should i just call this 2000s trends that i don't like maybe maybe but yeah again it's a 2000s trend and i don't like it because of the connotations probably I feel like obviously Uggs were around last season, they kind of carried through into spring and then no one really wears them in summer, but they're back again for autumn and I guess that's good, like it's not just a one season trend, like I kind of like it in that respect, but Uggs for me are just a no. Um, I did quite like this styling of them, however, and I think maybe again it's not the Ugg boots I like, it's the rest of the the rest of the outfit but I think if you're wearing your Ugg boots I do think this is a cool way to do it with like a really like baggy frame silhouette really casual I love this massive scarf this is more the street style scarf that I was talking about from the first one like this is obviously humongous and chunky but it's not like unsanitary <laughs> so maybe I'll be thrifting something like this coloured tights is a no for me and I maybe, I might change my mind if I see the particular inspiration photo, but they just, I don't know. Let's just, I just don't like them. I don't even think it's a 2000s thing. I just don't like them. <laughs> I think I like to get my color for my outfits as like an accessory, a small like little pop of color. And these for me are a bit too big. They're a bit too confused between the line of like, piece of clothing and accessory. There's something my brain doesn't like about it, but I think they're like objectively cool. They're just not my style. And like, I feel like I'll probably see an inspiration photo that I do like and think like, oh wow, okay, maybe I could try it. But it might be one of those ones where I have to see them in real life to be influenced by it. Cause I feel like we're all chronically online and it's one thing to wear something like this on your Instagram page and like in that kind of social setting where everyone knows everyone's a bit a bit different you're your best version of yourself right but seeing them or being seen in them online as a like offline sorry is a whole different experience so maybe I need to see some like real life inspiration to know this is not just like a online fad like it's actually wearable does that make sense I don't know tell me if it makes sense <laughs> okay suede jacket this is another one where immediately I was like, no, because of a past item I've had, which was like this dusty rose, kind of just not a great fabric feel. And it was also not a great silhouette. Like it was very clingy to me. Um, so yeah, I just have kind of bad vibes based off of that, the way that jacket made me feel and the way I feel about it looking back. So I'd say like immediately my gut reaction was no. However, I've done the thing again where I found one inspiration photo and it's kind of made me think, oh, shall I actually buy into this? And I think I've worked out why it is that I like this inspiration photo is because of the silhouette of the jacket. Like I'd say, if you're going to buy into this trend, I'd be really mindful about what silhouette you're getting. Like this one's really cool. It's really boxy. It kind of hangs right. But obviously I'll put a photo of like the one I had and like the ones you can still get that I think cling more or just like the silhouette's just not it's just not there for me versus like the boxy look I think looks more like model off duty rather than like 2000s if that makes sense and I think a good way to find something like this is to shop in the men's section but I'm not even sure if this one is I put money on this one being a men's actually I like the neutral colour as well. I have to say like the light tan is really nice and I think it works well with the with the suede fabric. Like if you're going for a really bright suede or like just a coloured suede like my one was, it can kind of make it look quite cheap. But obviously in neutrals, we know from quiet luxury, like obviously neutrals look more expensive and I feel like this is one trend that I could apply that to and actually believe in. Last one. Is this the last one? Yes, last one. Skinny silk scarves. It's a no from me. It's 2000s coded. Uh, do I, I don't need to go back into all that. It's no, it's a no. Um, 
I already obviously mentioned massive scarves as the first one, so this is kind of a good little wrap, is the exact opposite trend is also happening with like little silk scarves. They kind of remind me of like just ties, really, because they're that skinny. But um, there's this video of Kaya Gerber, or sorry, a photo of Kaya Gerber on Instagram, um, and obviously she looks good, but it's Kaya Gerber. Like she's a fashion girly, she knows how to make anything look good. So again, if I was wearing this trend, I'd wear it like this, but I'm not Kaya Gerber. So, oh gosh, am I even saying her name right? Correct me in the comments. My wardrobe isn't gonna support this. Like I don't have anything I'd wear this with. It's not my style. And I don't really think they add much to an outfit. And maybe that's a controversial opinion, but obviously like chunky scarves do add something to an outfit. Like if you're in winter, like there's nothing better than a matching chunky scarf and like a wool beanie. I'm gonna be recreating that look. I need to thrift something like this year. But skinny scarves just don't, don't really do anything for me. I don't know. It doesn't give you a silhouette like a belt does. I don't know, personal preference. I mean, if you are going to partake in this trend, then I'd say it's the easiest one to thrift. So please don't buy it. Just go to your thrift store um, and they'll probably have loads of like ties or just like little silk scarves. Like if they're not the right size, you could probably cut them down. Um, yeah, I'd say don't buy this. Don't, don't go to Zara because Zara will inevitably be hopping on this trend but it's just not worth it. Okay, so that's the 10 trends I'm not shopping this season. Um, make sure to watch next week's video because I will be talking about the trends I actually am gonna be watching, which might be a, bit, a little bit more helpful, but I hope you enjoyed this one. I definitely enjoyed making it and kind of trying to analyze exactly why I don't like clothes, which is also always quite hard for me but I think getting better. Also, if you enjoy this kind of content, I do kind of similar stuff on my TikTok and Lemonade and Instagram. So follow me on there if you want and like and comment below. Thank you guys so much. See you next week.